High school students at Cathedral Prep are too young to have clear memories of St. Pope John Paul II leading the Catholic Church, or even of his death in April 2005. I was, I think, well, I would have been four, four, four years old. I think I was around four, yeah. I don't remember his death. I remember uh, the election of Benedict the Sixteenth, but I, I remember like sort of vaguely like, like the Pope is dead. The teenagers rely on their history books and theology classes to learn about the beloved saint who led the Catholic Church for nearly three decades. John Paul II was one of the most influential uh, leaders in the world against the power of communism. He fought uh, specifically in Poland, but uh, more broad throughout Eastern Europe. Uh, leading the solidarity movement. I'm not necessarily an expert, but um, I do know that he was a big advocate against uh, fighting communism. An iron curtain has descended across the continent. But now an award-winning film on the Polish pontiff is bridging the gap between a textbook and reality. Entitled Liberating a Continent, John Paul II and the Fall of Communism, the 90-minute movie just won an Emmy, TV's top honor. It portrays the Holy Father's battle for peace in Central and Eastern Europe. Churches were closed, part of the clergy were exiled to Siberia. What touched me the most was that he didn't use any violence, he didn't use any violent words or calling Poland into action to fight against communism, but he said, let your spirit descend upon us. To learn more about the documentary, visit www.jp2film.com. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.